questions and a lot of concern from tenants today following that horrific elevator accident that did leave one man dead. But there are a few answers tonight as to what went wrong. Now that building's had elevator problems for years. The landlord is not talking and the city is investigating the elevator tragedy. News Force Chris Glorioso joins us live from Kipps Bay with the latest, Chris. Well, we've now confirmed it's not just the city's buildings department looking into this matter. It's also the city's department of investigation. And we've had an opportunity to talk to some of the tenants who showed us emails that seem to indicate the management company of Manhattan Promenade has repeatedly had to apologize for broken down elevators in the last couple of years. That same management company sent an email today, but it didn't offer any answers about this accident. And for some, that fell short. Are you disappointed with the statement that they've made so far to the tenants? More than disappointed, it's unacceptable. Someone died. Katerina Mayers is furious with building owners and managers. She is one of several tenants who've said publicly elevators at the Manhattan Promenade have been a mess for years. This has been an ongoing issue, but we never thought it would get to this point of someone losing their life. Now the Department of Buildings is working to find out if faulty elevator maintenance could be related to what happened on Thursday when 30-year-old Sam Wiesprin was killed. His family devastated on the phone. Yeah, he does well. He loves New York and you know, living in a fancy New York apartment. I think it's just a tragedy that, that is a disregard for safety. And you know, and, and they killed my son. The FDNY says Wiesprin was trying to step out of the elevator into the lobby when the carriage suddenly lurched down toward the basement. He was caught and crushed up against the elevator shaft wall. In all my experience, I've only known of two other cases, one in New York and one in New Jersey, where this occurred. Patrick Carr is a veteran of the elevator industry who provides expert testimony in lawsuits. He says investigators will now look at the history of inspections on this lift and whether problems were properly corrected. He says in the rare event someone finds themselves in an elevator with an open door between floors, follow a simple rule. You should use your cell phone. You should use the emergency stop switch, which will ring an alarm. The most dangerous thing you can do is force the doors open and go out and the kid fell down the shift. Robert Kalimian is listed as the manager of Manhattan Promenade in mortgage documents. We've tried to email and call him, but so far we haven't gotten any word back. We should point out that the elevator involved in yesterday's accident is closed, but there's another elevator in there that is open, but that elevator did receive a violation for a tampered with safety feature back in the spring. And the residents here know that, although the DOB says it's now safe, they don't trust it. They have been taking the stairs. For now, reporting live in Kipps Bay, Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.